Hello, so today I want to talk about walking home at night. You know, the streets are fine during the day, but at night everyone just looks a bit scary. But then it, it's funny because then I hear somebody walking fast behind me. Tuk, 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 tuk. And then I'm just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And I panic. And then this person overtakes me. And then I see, ah, okay, they're just, they seem to be really nice. I mean, I don't know how I can how I can evaluate that they are nice just from their back but I guess they haven't killed me so that's nice I think it's good to walk through well-lit streets but then again if a street is well lit it doesn't prevent murder it just makes it a bit brighter I think self-defense classes are fantastic but the thing is when you do a self-defense class you are in your trainers and you are in comfortable clothes and you don't have a bag or your phone in your hand you literally are hands-free and in workout clothes. I have my backpack with me, then sometimes if the gigs are further out, I'll take my computer and then this and this. I bring a lot of toys when I travel. So I'm, I'm carrying a lot of my books because I sell them after the show. So I always bring a few copies. Uh, if, if you want to buy it, you can buy it on Amazon. Yeah, you can. Uh, um, the link is somewhere. I don't know. How. So yeah, I have a lot of books with me when I walk home because you know, sometimes I don't sell them, so I carry them back home again. You have your phone in your hand, you have a bag in the other hand, you have a backpack on the back, and then if somebody comes to you and you would want to do self-defense movements, you can't, you just can't, you can just say, would you mind holding my books and take my phone? I think you really have to practice self-defense in real life, but I can't really do that because how, how do I do that? I can't walk home and if somebody walks behind me, I'm just like, oh my God, you are the one <laughs> and I turn over and just smack him in the UK I think you are only able to buy color sprays so you don't spray attacker with pepper sprays you spray them with color sprays you can basically choose your favorite color I don't know blue and just um, and, and they they will be then blue for a while so yeah it, it's sometimes good to stay on the phone with somebody right just just stay on the phone and say like can you be on the phone with me? But then again, if somebody attacks you, what do you do? You know, you can't say, hey, hey, sorry, you can't attack me because I'm on the phone. Wait a bit until I hang up. Nobody cares if you're on the phone. I mean, maybe they do. I don't know. Maybe these attackers are actually quite polite people. Oh, oh sorry, you're on the phone. I, I'll, I'll attack you in a bit. Just take your time. Tell me when you're finished. So you can be on the phone. You can take your keys out. I always take my keys out or I hold my keys in my hand. I have heard about people getting stabbed, but not with a key. A lot of keys nowadays, they are not keys anymore, they are just fobs. Let me show you my fob. You can't fob people away. And they say, oh, you should not put earplugs in, because when you have, not earplugs, airpods or, or like earphones, headphones. That's, you should not put any headphones in the, in the ears, because you need your full focus. I'm not sure if my headphones will stop somebody from attacking me or not. Because if they say, oh, she has headphones, I can attack her. Maybe they think that. But maybe they think, ah, look at her. She doesn't have headphones. I won't attack her because she will just hear me. So the question is, when I'm being attacked, I probably, it's maybe nicer to have some good music to it. You can also get an app that tracks you. You know, there is this tracking app and it shares it with friends. A lot of them are many, many miles away from you, so they won't be here to help you, but they at least see where it happened. When people see where you're going, your friends see that you're going home, and then they see, oh, you're not going home anymore. Where does she go? But what do they do then? They can call you if you don't pick up. Do they call the police? If you Maybe you just had to go to the toilet quickly and ran into a pub or whatever. And then suddenly the police is outside, oh, we are looking for Alice Frick, where is she? And just, oh, sorry, I just went to the toilet. <laughs> Will the police really come when I say, oh, uh, hello, my friend, uh, she, I tracked her, but she's not uh, trackable anymore. And then there is another app, when you scream, when you scream, this app informs your friends that you're in danger. I must not forget to scream when I'm in danger. And I have to scream loud enough that the app is really picking it up. I tried it in the bathroom and it was really hard to activate it. I mean, it worked in that way that my neighbors called the police. I don't know, I, I would not know if I'm being attacked, if I remember how to scream.
It's kind of like when you have a cold shower. I always thought when you have a cold shower, you just scream in the shower because it's so cold. I had a cold shower because my hot water was not working. You know what? I didn't scream. I was literally just doing this. <gasps> the screaming didn't work for me there because you, it was so uncomfortable that I just couldn't scream. The thing is, it's never really a surprise. A lot of people who attack other people, they are known. There are people who say like, oh yes, of course, you know, actually they had a little bit of a history. If people are known for that, I think they have to use a tracking app. I think maybe we should just use the spray paint on them. I think we should actually, as soon as somebody starts to get a history, the first bad thing they do, they get sprayed. Maybe we'll start with the ear, so they will have a blue ear, you know, and then they will say, okay, okay, that's a blue eared one. Maybe they will be better. Maybe not, but we'll see. And then if they, they do it again, they get half of their faces blue. So they have a blue face and a blue ear. And when they have blue hair, boo. So if somebody's walking behind me, then I can just look behind me. And if I see that this person has a blue ear, yeah, you know what? Then I will call the police. Then I say like, oh God, a blue ear is walking behind me. Then I don't have to be scared of everyone. Then I can literally be scared of the blue haired ear ones. I think that's the solution. I will put that forward to my local MP. If you have any other solutions of how to deal with bad people on the street while walking home, please post it in the comments below and uh, then let's walk home safely. Yeah, have a good day. Bye.